Now, what homebrew game for the NES is arguably hailed as one of the best homebrews that you can get? Well, stay tuned in the video and find out. Hey, what's up everyone, Game Dad here, and today we are taking a look at a physical release that has finally come out from Elden Pixels and Retrobit, and that is Always Awakening the 8-Bit Adventure. This is an awesome collector's edition from Retrobit, and it even comes with their Digical version. So we have a physical, and then we have a physical digital release. So it's a digital release on a physical item. So we are going to be unboxing these and taking a look at everything that comes inside of these and then show you some gameplay of Always Awakening. I have been waiting for this for many, many months now and I am very excited that this is finally out and excited to share this with all of you. But before we do that, if you want to be notified every time awesome releases like this are announced or come out, then please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as that little notification bell. That way you can alert every time I've got a new video coming out. Now, let's go ahead and dive in and see what these are all about. All right, so first up, let's go ahead and open up this Digical. Now, what's cool is this looks kind of like a fig pen or something like that, but it's actually a USB thumbstick. And in this, the Digical USB includes the digital version of Always Awakening, the 8-bit edition, so it gives you the ROM. That way, if you have anything that yeah, you play ROMs with, like the Super Retro Trio 3 Plus, or if you have a, a Retron like a Hyperkin, or if you just play on PC, uh, you'll be able to do that. Now, it also comes with a digital and instruction manual. It comes with an exclusive interview with the game developer. Uh, I am not going to try and pronounce his name because uh, I think I'm going to butcher it. Uh, and then it also comes with digital art and a desktop wallpaper. So cool. That is everything that comes inside of this package. Now, I have not even cut the tape or anything on these yet. So let's go ahead and crack these open. Now, this is a pretty unique concept that um, Retrobit is moving forward with, and I believe they are going to be doing this with all of their uh, future releases. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that that's what they said, is they want to be able to go through and do these kind of things moving forward. So we take this out, and that is just a background for the packaging. Uh, and then right here, we have the actual thumb drive. Oh, and it's retractable. There you go, got a little switch on the back, and there you go. I'm pretty sure that is Alwa herself right there. Um, and yeah, Retrobit Digical. Very cool. So, little thumb drive that uh, shows all kinds of goodies on it. And in addition to gameplay of this, I will show you all what comes on this drive. That way, I, you know, you can see for yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and set that to the side for now. And now we need to unwrap the saran wrap that is on this. Now, don't worry, I'm not gonna cut the box. I'm only gonna cut the actual cling wrap that's on this thing. So, we're gonna take all this cellophane off. It does have a sticker on the back, tells you everything that comes in it, but it's fine, because we're gonna open it up and take a look anyways. All right, now, first up, this is an embossed cover that's on here, and I don't know, there we go, I can get it to show a little bit. It's got a nice matte finish everywhere except for the logo and of Awa right there, so that's cool. On the back, it just says Elden Pixels, and we're going to go ahead and slide that out of its sleeve. And here we go, again, it's got the gloss and matte, the embossed finish on there, very neat. On the back here, uh, in Always Awakening, you play as Zoe, a heroine sent from another world to bring peace to the land of Alwa. Oh, okay, so this is not Alwa, this is Zoe. Um, all right, and there is more information on the back, but I don't want to spoil it for anyone that's going to get it themselves. Now, let's see if I can do this without jacking up the cover. Uh, probably not. Uh, there we go. Nice. I did do it. So, we're going to open this up, and this has all kinds of goodies in it. Even got the uh, little foam insert down there at the bottom of the box. So we're gonna set the main cart aside. Right here, we have the instruction booklet. It is made of nice, high quality material. And I believe this is just like any instruction manual. Yeah, so it's gonna go through and show you all of the stuff of how to control the game, tell you a little bit about the game, different collectibles, and very cool. So that has everything you could want in there. Ooh, what are some of the... Uh, some of the creatures, look at that. Some of the enemies in the game, very nice. Okay, we're gonna set the manual aside. Then right here, what do we have? Always Awakening the 8-Bit Edition. Elden Pixels and Retrobit. Let's see, what's in here? Uh, it looks like artwork, some art cards, 
So we're going to take that out of the envelope. Certificate of Authenticity. This is number 3019 of 5000. So this was definitely a limited run. And wow, that is, it is gold gilded edge postcard. And this is like, this is thick, man. This has got lots of C's in it's thick. So very nice, very high quality. Uh, let's see right here. Is that a lithograph? It is very cool. Let's see if I can get that show on camera for you all. So we go there. There it is. So you can see that change happen. Very cool. Okay, what else we got here? Um, we have Behind the Game. Okay, I'll try to pronounce his name. Uh, Michael Forsland? Mikhail Forsland? Forsland? I don't know. I probably butchered his name. Uh, so this is just a behind the scenes. I'm not going to sit there and read that all to you guys. Um, but cool. Behind the Game. And then what do we got here? Uh, Always Awakening, the 8-bit edition. Oh, it's like... It's just a, it looks like it's a town or something. So go through and just a big scene from the game. Very cool. I love getting artwork and stuff with games. It's awesome. So we're going to do this, put it all back nicely. That way, keep everything looking good. And this will uh, display nicely on a shelf too. Of course, uh, you know, the game, in my opinion, is meant to be played. Um, but if you like to have a little... Uh, talking piece or collector's piece on there. Well, there you go, you can. So all that is back into its nice envelope. And then here we have the game itself. Nice plastic bag, help protect it. Nice dust sleeve, that's a good addition. And right here we have Always Awakening, the 8-bit edition. Very nice, custom, uh, like white, opaque, um, shell and it's made with brand new boards in there and actually you can see the main character kind of underneath right there I don't know yeah there you go right there uh, you can see Zoe down there on the main board and wow this is a heavy cart oh and then on the back here uh, so it has battery so save states um, and it actually looks like it is a socket so that uh, you can actually just go in and swap that battery out if you want to so that's nice no soldering required very nice very nice um, and if you care, it is uh, the three screw variant, uh, not the five screw. Um, but yeah, so there is the game. I am definitely going to be uh, loading this game up, showing you all some gameplay and give you kind of my initial thoughts playing through the game. And I will show you all what is on this little uh, Zoe Digical USB. So let's go take a look at all that right now. So let's take a quick look here at some of the wallpapers. They give you three different sizes. This one is the Versus wallpaper, uh, and they give you these in 1024 by 768, 1280 by 1024, or 1920 by 1080. Um, and then in addition to the Versus one, they also have the Villains one. That one is pretty cool looking in my opinion. And then they also have the Zoe one. And my favorite is the Villains one, just because it looks more like a complete desktop photo. But that is pretty cool that they have those in there. Now, they also have the instruction manual, which is this right here. And it is just a digital version of that physical manual that you get. So that is very cool that they are including things like this. Then you also get, of course, your thank you notice. And this looks like it's just a digital version of that hard poster card that was given and had that uh, kind of gilded border to it. Then they also have the developer interview. And this right here is, I believe, yeah, this is the same thing that they include in the physical. This is just a digital version of it. So that's pretty cool. You get your ROM, you get all of these other little bits of goodies and stuff, and it's everything that's included with the physical, just a digital version of it. So awesome. So Always Awakening is just adventure platforming at its finest. You are going on this grand epic quest. You get your magic staff. That way you can start bashing baddies and breaking through stone walls. And 
all you're doing is going around and trying to figure out whatever this mystery is that's surrounding this game. And there are a lot of really cool, unique things that I discovered just in the first few minutes of playing this game. One is these torches for save points, which I thought was really cool. And also that this is an incredibly expansive map. Now, something I quickly learned while playing this game is that there is a lot of backtracking and it definitely gives you that Metroidvania kind of feel where you are going around and exploring multiple branching paths to figure out what is the best place to go and the best route to take. Now, you will encounter several different enemy types. There's different little skeletons. There's these little like green blob things like you see on the screen right here. And... You are going through and trying to just figure it out. You find your way. They do give you some kind of visual clues with different text that comes on screen, stuff like that. But overall, you are just flying blind in the beginning, honestly. And I really like it because it harkens back to the old days of NES RPGs where you didn't know what was going on. You maybe got some intel in the instruction manual or maybe some on-screen cues, but for the most part, you just had to go out and explore. It definitely gives me those initial Zelda vibes that I got when I played the game for the very first time. And it was awesome to kind of relive that in a brand new way. And the game is just... It's beautiful in the way it has you do story, as well as how you go through and just adventure through figuring out what you need to do in this game. So if you are feeling adventurous and you want to go on a brand new adventure on the NES, or even if you're just playing it through emulation, you definitely want to check this game out because so far what I've played does not disappoint. So there you have it, everyone. That is Alwa's Awakening, the 8-bit adventure. Um, this game is awesome, and I am definitely going to be playing through and finishing this game because it's just, it's super fun. It's very intriguing. It's awesome to see a game like this coming out during today's time when this could have easily been a game that came out and was a playground favorite back in the day when the NES was still getting you know new officially licensed games. Now, I don't think this is available anywhere anymore. It was an open pre-order window, but then as soon as that was done, it was done. And as far as I know, they are never doing another print of this again. Uh, but if you can find it, uh, then awesome. Definitely pick up a copy because this is super cool. And to the rest of uh, the people that ordered this, you know, I'm very happy for you that you were able to get this in your collection. I'm sure that you will see things like this popping up at conventions and maybe online eventually after people have had their fill with it. So definitely keep an eye out. That way you can get a copy yourself. Also, I already did an announcement about it, but the open pre-order is still going on for the Battletoads Collector's Edition from Retrobit, um, and definitely you want to be able to pick up a copy of this. It's an open pre-order. They don't have a set amount that they're making. It is however many are ordered, that's what they're making. So definitely head on over to Retrobit and check that out. That way you can get that pre-ordered so you don't miss out like if you potentially did on this one. Now, if you liked today's video, let me know down in the comments below and let me know, were you able to pick up a copy of Always Awakening, the 8-bit adventure for yourself? And while you're down there, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons as well as that little notification bell. That way you can alert every time I've got a new video coming out. Also, if you like what I do here and you are interested in helping to support the channel each and every month, then please consider becoming a channel member or head on over to patreon.com slash gamedadshow where for as little as $1 a month, you can get early ad-free access to all of my videos, including getting your name in the end credits like the fine folks that you see above right now. Now, as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you later.